Hi Scorpio, we're doing your read for the 29th of October to the 5th of November. If you have resonated with the title, then this will be your reading, regardless of when you actually see it, okay? The titles that I use in my videos have always come from something that I've actually said at some point during your reading, okay? So there are no clickbait titles on this channel. Right, so what's going on for Scorpio, please? Wow, the elephant and forgiveness. Um, now, if I remember correctly, we had the heart chakra that came out for you guys the last week. And I was explaining that that, in my humble opinion, is the hardest chakra to work with because it involves forgiveness. Um, I mean, it, it involves being completely vulnerable, totally and absolutely honest as well and now this week you're getting this energy that comes out for you uh, if you've been feeling angry about a past issue then the elephant is asking for you to discover the more vulnerable feelings behind that anger so it's still heart chakra work uh, literally spirit is keeping you on the heart chakra work again this week scorpio okay uh, you're being asked to forgive and to be gentle with others. I would put a little footnote on that and say um, that you're also being asked to forgive yourself and to be gentle with yourself as well. Because remember, everything begins with you, okay? Um, how we treat others is a reflection of how we're feeling about ourselves, okay? And vice versa, how people treat you is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. It always starts with you. So with this forgiveness, I'd say the self-forgiveness and the self-compassion is a really good place to start. And then that can branch outwards, okay? Um, obviously, do not, do not, and I mean this, Scorpio, do not allow someone else to victim blame or victim shame you. Do not allow anyone else to gaslight you, okay? Do not let anyone else tell you that your boundaries are actually grudges, okay? You will know the difference. You will feel the difference, okay? So again, that's another footnote that I need to add on to that one, especially with heart chakra being the main theme now for the past two weeks running for you guys, okay? Uh, make sure that you're not opening up the door to um, being taken advantage of again, basically. And y y you know how it goes, manipulative people. They're, they're looking for like a, a chink in your armor, a weak spot. Um, and seem to think that they can take advantage, okay? You, you know, I'll always stand up for you guys. I, I'm, I'm a Scorpio myself. I get it. I understand, okay? So, with this one, really be as honest as you possibly, possibly can, right? With yourself, first and foremost. Right, so let's pull you some more cards and find out what else is going on for you guys. What's going on for Scorpio, please? What's going on for Scorpio? For the week of the 29th of October through to the 5th of November, please. Okay, that top two. Wish and Lion. What's under there? The flowers. Beautiful. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Now, with this one, I am seeing someone giving you flowers. Or if you're not receiving flowers, then, then you could be gifting someone else flowers. We are in your birthday season as well, Scorpio. You could be receiving flowers or a plant as a gift for your birthday. Um, it's also a really good idea for you to consider bringing in more plants and foli foliage into your living quarters as well okay uh, there's a strong message about getting back in touch with nature that's coming through okay wish your heart's desire is ready to come true happy birthday scorpio you get a scorpio wish <laughs> a scorpio wish I like that one. A Scorpio wish. Um, and the lion. Harness the loyal and protective order of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Beautiful. Taking charge. Not taking any kind of bullshit, but also not going out of your way to give any bullshit either. It's nice. 
Right, so with this particular combination, what is going on here? Well, you are definitely being given a wish, a gift, excuse me. You're definitely being given a gift. And it feels like a spiritual gift. Whenever I see the lion coming out of a deck other than traditional tarot, I mean like any other deck, it can indicate God's favourite. Now, I'm not religious whatsoever, right? Not even remotely. Um, I am seeing this energy as you're being given a spiritual gift and your hard work is absolutely being acknowledged here by the universe, okay? Um, it, it is coming across as being the favourite, all right? It, it really is. The wish, the lion and the flowers, you know. So whatever this is that, that you have been trying to manifest, Scorpio, I mean, number one, congratulations. It, it is looking really, really positive. Um, like literally your heart's desire, but th there is, again, there's another little footnote with this one. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes your heart's desire isn't always going to be what is right for you, okay? But again, like, you'll know this when it comes through anyway, okay? Like, you'll know. Sometimes they're the fire. Well, I mean, yeah, Scorpio, you are fire water. Let go of emotional upheavals and embrace the renewal of the present. Yeah. So if you've been going through like a long transitional period, then this is the accumulation of that. Okay. You are likely to find that things are going to come to you a lot quicker, a lot easier. You might even find as well that um, it, if, for example, you have been struggling with brain fog, you might well find that that's lifting. As again, especially with that elephant energy being there as well. It's like clarity of thought, long memory. Um, yeah, yeah, for anyone who's been struggling with brain issues, you're going to find that this month, you're, you're literally on top form, okay? There's something quite large here within this energy, Scorpio, and it feels like your life goals or your life ambition or your life purpose, take your pick, okay? It's basically whatever you've been the most focused on for the past couple of years. That's what this gift pertains to. Oh, excuse me. Little internal hiccup on the go there. Right, let's pull some more cards and we'll get more information. What's going on for our Scorpio Collective, please? From the 29th of October through to the 5th of November, please. What's going on for our Scorpio Collective? Scorpio Collective, please. Thank you. Ooh, I think I should just stop pulling cards, Scorpio. I should just stop pulling cards at this point. Golden moment. Wow. A blessing is on its way. Literally, what was I telling you? Now, this is going to resonate slightly different for all of you, obviously, because you've all been working towards different goals in life. You've all had different priorities in life. So it's whatever you have been the most focused on, I am telling you. You're looking at a lot of growth, a lot of expansion and a lot of abundance. Again, whatever those words mean specifically for you, that's what this message is going to be getting at. For some of you, it could well be financial. For others of you, it could be more spiritual. Okay. A blessing is on its way. An important door is opening for you that will make you very happy. Rare, once in a lifetime and special. You make damn sure that you walk through that door of opportunity, Scorpio. I'm hearing don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So when this comes in, Scorpio, avoid being suspicious. And 
a lot of you will be suspicious. Avoid being suspicious because that could easily be taken as looking the gift horse in the mouth. Okay. Sacred traveller. Yeah, it's something spiritual. There is an upcoming opportunity, again with the opportunities, for you to move or travel. Enjoy this new adventure, journey, movement and trip. I'm feeling that that is an ascension for a lot of you. Yes, you could physically be moving. You could be moving house, you could be moving town, city, streets, whatever. You could be physically moving. This feels a lot more like it's spiritual movement as as well for, for the majority of you that's an ascension right there with the spaceship hidden secrets careful of superficial appearances or making decisions without all the facts and act with discernment unseen sly approach be careful to take right they're saying take the sly approach right you don't have to tell everybody your successes you don't have to tell everybody your good news it's awful that we have to give that kind of message but ultimately that's going to be someone's saving grace the fact that they kept their mouth shut so that someone else couldn't interfere that is legit going to be someone's saving grace but it's saying you need to take the sly approach scorpio okay Make sure that your business is on lockdown, which, I mean, you're a Scorpio, it usually is anyway. But, again, just be mindful of that, okay? Wide open. The path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. No blocks, open path, and yes from the universe, exactly. That's all of those blocks and restrictions, the, the pushback that you've been feeling. It's all lifting. All that brain fog, lifting gone spirit is saying the path is clear now if you were meaning to do something scorpio then you need to start doing that thing that you were meaning to do okay this is your season now the gates are wide open no no longer putting stuff on the back burner no more of this oh do you know what i'll see to that later i'll, I'll do that later I'll I'll take a look at that tomorrow. No, that's not going to work. All right, that is not going to work. This is a time for you to take action. The gate is wide open. If you hang around and you twiddle with your thumbs, the gate will close again. Right? And remember to shh. Keep it shh. Keep it quiet. Mum's the word with this one, right? It is unfortunate, as I said, that that particular kind of message has to be passed on. But, you know, sometimes people are not going to be happy for your successes. And there's absolutely nothing that you can do other than keeping it to yourself. Some of their small steps, yeah, it's the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories. Celebrate them. They will take you there. Slow and steady in careful actions. Yeah. Yeah, so you have been consistent. You've been metaphorically putting that one foot in front of the other, day in, day out. Do make sure that you celebrate your small victories along the way, okay? Um... Again, another message that's been coming out for you guys frequently was like feeling frustrated because you're not yet at the point where you were wanting to be when you expected to be there. It doesn't automatically overwrite all of the success that you've already achieved. Do you know what I mean? That, that message has been coming out for you quite frequently as well. So don't forget to celebrate the small victories along the way, Scorpio. Okay. You've earned it. You've absolutely earned it. Right, what's going on for our Scorpio Collective, please? From the 29th of October to the 5th of November. Scorpio Collective. What's going on for Scorpio, please? What's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio Collective. 
at Scorpio. Okay, right, let's take a look. The Five of Wands, first card out, Five of Wands. There had been a struggle. Um, now, in this particular deck, I'll switch out the camera so you guys can see. In this particular deck, there's like a group of five lads and they're playing uh, pinata with a with a wasp nest. Um, that's not that's not a good idea. Um, so that there's a message here about that struggle. Um, it, it's it was something really really risky. It could also be as well that maybe somebody was trying to uh, trigger you, as in kicking the hornet's nest, you know, that, that old theory. Um, possible. It's right next to the Ten of Coins. Hmm, Ten of Coins is stability, security, family, long-term and generations. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, Scorpio. Sometimes the ones who are supposed to support you the most actually reveal themselves to be your number one enemy, unfortunately. Five of Wands, Ten of Coins, Knight of Swords. And for some of you, that's going to be an actual blood relative of yours. Yeah. You got the Seven of Swords is the energy at the bottom of the deck. It's under there. The Two of Cups. Two of Cups with the Eight of Wands. That is a beautiful combination. And the Nine of Wands. Yeah. Um, in that deck, the Nine of Wands is all about protection. It's a self-protection. See with that sigil in the ground. See how she's made that sigil in the ground there. And she's protecting herself. And Four of Wands. They're saying protect the family that, that you choose. Yeah. Four of Wands, protect the family that you choose, protect the person that you have chosen to be your life partner. Okay, if you've made if you've made a family with your life partner, protect that family. You've got ructions here with family at origin coming through. The ones that were supposed to support you, protect you, and be happy for you, they were not, or they are not. Okay, um, let's start this off with the Seven of Swords then. Can you clarify the Seven of Swords? You do have the sun here, though. That sun energy is going to negate all of the negativity that goes on for this week. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Scorpio, please. What's going on with that Seven of Swords? Thank you. <sighs> wow. <laughs> like your Five of Wands in reverse. Interesting, isn't it? Wow. Not getting dragged into the drama. Not getting dragged into, into someone else's shit show. That's also the end of an argument. And I feel that you're ending a particular argument by maintaining your silence. Your silence speaks a thousand words, Scorpio. Your silence is really, really powerful. And that's what's ending this struggle, ending this argument. And clarify that ten of coins for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Yeah, nine of coins off balance. That's envy. I shit you not. Nine of coins off balance is envy. Some 
Somebody that you're related to is envious of your hard work, your dedication, your patience, your perseverance, your success, your money also, for those who are self-made, because a nine of coins upright is someone who's self-made. Jealous of the fact that you don't actually need anyone else's validation. You're just you. Clarify the Knight of Swords for the, um, why am I here in Pisces? I was about to call you Pisces there, Scorpio. Interesting. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio, please. Knight of Swords, thank you. Why, why, why was I here in Pisces? Mm. High Priestess comes out. Wow. And it's come out off balance with an Ace of Swords off balance. I'll switch out the camera so you can see the direction of these two cards there that just come out. Scattered energy. To clarify that Knight of Swords. These two off balance. Ugh. Okay, but this person doesn't know for a fact they have invented Okay, your Ace of Swords off balance, that's someone who um, has made something up in their head. Like they, they've literally pilled something completely out of the sky. And then they've gone on and repeated it, right? Your High Priestess in the upright position is really, really good. That's someone who is very subtle, they're very stealthy, they, they keep their silence, they keep secrets, they are massively intuitive, very, very wise, very clever, right? They let their energy speak for them. That's High Priestess in the upright position. When it's come out scattered, that's someone who is making out that they are this, that, and the next, all of the things that I've just described, and more, when in actual fact they are incredibly uh, gossipy, very, very manipulative, and they've got no issue whatsoever spreading shit around, because it's to clarify that Knight of Swords. It's like they've got no filter. They let their mouth run off, before they've even thought about what it was that they were saying. That's that kind of energy there. An Ace of Swords off balance. That's someone who likes to tell lies by using like a seed of truth within that lie to make that lie more believable. That's Ace of Swords off balance. Now we've, we've had that a few times coming out in your energy there, Scorpio, where somebody was telling lies about you where somebody was gossiping about you. Like, we, we have had that so many times. And I'll tell you the reason why they do that, Scorpio, is because they cannot get any facts or information about you. That's why they're doing it. But they don't know they're going to make up. When you, you... Do you know what I mean? It's like... You can play that one of two ways. Number one, remain in silent, which is probably the best thing to do. Or number two, putting out information deliberately out there, knowing full well that it's going to get back to them. It depends entirely on how, do you know what I mean? But if you were to do the, the latter of what I said, that potentially would be kicking the hornet's nest. You see how that's all tied in with each other now. But again, like, Tarot's not here to tell you what to do. Tarot is literally just a guide. It's just a temperature check. Whatever you decide is going to be the right move for you at the end of it all. Well, that's going to be the right move for you. Okay. But Spirit is just warning you that, look, if you, if you were deliberately... Because you know who this person is. You know who this person is. You know what they're all about. And why they're doing it. So if you were tempted to deliberately put some kind of information out there, knowing that they were going to collect it type thing, um, yeah, that potentially would be kicking the hornet's nest. So, like, yeah. It's up to you. Can you clarify the sun? Thank you. 
Borowans. There's a very happy event that's coming up here. Not surprised to see that because it is Scorpio season. Happy celebration, a milestone, okay? Your four of wands, that's like marriages, engagements, holidays, anniversaries. It's milestones. It's also a message about your community as well and the sun. Beautiful, celebration the energy, life-giving energy. The happiest card in tarot. So you've got a beautiful celebration here that's coming up, Scorpio. Could, could easily involve something to do with your birthday, okay? Someone else might try and uh, take the spotlight off of you. Someone can't handle the fact that the spotlight's not on them. They can't be happy for anybody else. Like, they're, they're incapable of being happy for anyone else. Clarify the Six of Swords for Scorpio, please. Thank you. King of Wands. That's telling me for you to move away from that kind of energy as quickly as you possibly can. Okay. Oh, look. See, see how she's holding the box. It's like a... You could, well, actually hear from somebody around your birthday that you haven't heard from in a while. Because that, that feels like see six of swords that that can be past energy so that someone that you've not heard from in a while is offering you a gift and then king of wands energy that's uh that's very active it's someone who is um very much involved they, they've got a lot of energy to them uh could it could potentially be someone who's quite funny as well with that being king of wands don't focus on the gender okay the gender doesn't mean anything about someone's actual gender it's just more to do with the energy i'm feeling that this this combination is telling me scorpio that you're going to be really really busy yeah, and then Ten of Wands right next to that as well. You can tell us more about that King of Wands. You've got two kings here. You've got a King of Wands and a King of Swords. Can you tell us more about the King of Wands? Thank you. Oh, a Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, so that feels like somebody is potentially going to try and... Um, I'm hearing flirt with you. They want to relive something. They, they, they're probably trying to relive something from the past. But it's not going to work because that's come out in reverse. You see, pages indicate new stages for me as a reader. And that's come out in reverse. So that's like someone's trying to relive something of the past here, Scorpio. I'm certain of that. Can you tell us more, the Scorpio, please? Why is that page in reverse? Thank you. Upright, okay. The Fool and the Hanged Man. Interesting. Right, so that's someone taking a massive risk and they've already thought it through long and hard and they understand that what they're doing is a massive risk. So that's quite possibly somebody that you had a falling out with then, Scorpio. Because otherwise, why would they be sitting there going, oh, it's a massive risk, oh, I don't know, but I'm going to do it anyway. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Scorpio, please. Why the Ten of Wands? Oh, the Tower, yeah. The Tower and the Five of Cups, yeah. That's someone, this individual quite possibly excluded you at some point or you had to exclude them. Tower with the Five of Cups. 
I'm feeling that someone's wanting to get quite a lot off their chest here, Scorpio, and they could well be using your birthday as an excuse to get back in touch here. And do keep an open mind because you've definitely got communication that's coming in and potentially a love offer. I don't know if that's off of the same person or if it's off a different person. There could be multiple different people in this reading, but you definitely um, some someone is absolutely using your birthday as a as an excuse to contact you. And then you've got a love offer here as well that's going to make you really really happy, or just an offer or a gift off someone that you love and who loves you, not necessarily romantically, although for somebody it could be. Um, and of course, Nine of Cups is also wish fulfillment. And we literally started off, you read Scorpio with wish fulfillment. A birthday wish is going to be fulfilled. So what was it that you wished for, Scorpio? You don't, you don't have to tell anybody. Just think about it. What was it that you wished for for your birthday? Because that's, that's this energy here. You've got some kind of loyalty also. See, with that wolf, wolves are wild, but this one is being domesticated. So there's, there's a message here about unquestionable trust and loyalty. There's a message about how not everybody gets you and understands you, but someone here does. Someone here completely gets you. Very, very loyal, very loving also. And then actually speaking those words with the King of Swords energy. Hmm, it's under there. Yeah, the Three of Cups, a celebration. Getting together with friends, being sociable, celebrating. That can also be, potentially, for a small handful of views, that could be some kind of reconciliation as well. I would watch this space here, Scorpio, because if one of your wishes was to have um, some kind of reconciliation with someone, that's what you're receiving. It's under there. The Four of Cups. Yeah, but be careful because not everything that's being put on offer is going to be for your highest good with the Four of Cups being right next to that one. Okay, you've got the Lovers in the Wheel of Fortune under there. For some of you, if you're currently single right now, you're not going to be single for much longer with the Lovers in the Wheel of Fortune being there right next to you, like literally back to back with each other. Page of Coins, Seven of Wands. Um... That, that feels like you've been rejecting. You, you've been rejecting something to do with immaturity, Im immature individuals. You reject someone. Oh, okay. It, it's like, um, it's weird, Scorpio, because someone in your read... It's got this opinion that you're naive. Page of coins to the seven of wands. Someone was treating you like you were naive. A child, specifically. So is there a situation going on here with a parent or a caregiver, for example, who still potentially treats you like a naive uneducated child and isn't looking at you like you're an adult is that what's going on here i think they might well end up getting a bit of a shock there scorpio lovers in the wheel of fortune that's definitely a relationship a connection that's coming through here for you scorpio 
It was fated. It's part of your. It's part of your destiny there. Because you've been rejecting people who have reminded you. Oh, you've been rejecting people who have been treating you the same way that those individuals from your past were treating you. Like you were stupid, like you were naive, like you didn't know shit. Yeah. Okay. I feel that that went a little bit off track there for a minute, but... I mean, for those where that's resonating, you'll know what that's all about. Um, also, if this read is resonating for you, then please do let me know by dropping a like on the video. And that will also help keep you engaged with the channel as well. What's going on here for Scorpio, please? Thank you. Oh, that one. Oh, you're currently under construction. Please be patient. Yeah, you're a work in progress. Everyone is. You'll break free from all that no longer serves you. Beautiful, says self-liberation here. You're going... <laughs> wow. You're going to master your material reality in the future. Hmm. Know that whatever decision you made, it was the right one. Didn't we start off the read telling you that? That Tarot's not here to tell you what to do. It's just a guide. And whatever you decide to do, ultimately, is going to be the best decision for you. Hmm. What's going on for Scorpio, please? What's going on for Scorpio? Okay. Stop letting shitty people who do little for you control so much of your mind, your feelings and your time. You have way more important shit to do and think about. Love it. Someday you'll forget all of the hurt, the many reasons why you cried, and all the shitty people who have done you wrong. You will realise that the secret to living freely is not revenge, but letting things go and allowing things to unfold in their own way and their own time. And if you wish to succeed, you must brave the risk of failure because people who make shit happen don't wait for shit to happen, but they do some shit about it. Yeah. That's that King of Wands energy. Very proactive. That's what you're doing right now, Scorpio. You're being proactive in your own life. You're showing up in your own life. And some of you are not getting the support in the physical that, that you should be getting. But you're getting spiritual support in abundance. Interesting read. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you. I wish those of you who are celebrating your birthdays a very, very happy birthday. Um, if you feel that you could do with more clarity or to go check out your other signs, then please do click on the link that appears at the top right hand corner of the screen. Um, for personal readings, they are available on my website at phoenixkiataro.com. The link for that should be in my description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.